All right, so to the update function. The first thing we do is we define a variable called hit. And what a raycast hit is, it's basically some information you get from where you either do a raycast or a line cast, and then it returns some information and stores it into the hit variable. So it what a line cast is is basically the line from one position to another position and returns true if something intersects that line. In our case it's going to be the cube. So go over to the apply forces, and then look, we got this punch boolean that we need. And that is only going to be true if something intersects the line, because we then define punch as true right here. So to further illustrate this, I'm going to stop explaining for now and press control S to save it and I'm going to create a game object that goes right on this hand but a little further right here and I'll explain why so go game object create other call this one hand position extend the hierarchy of the biped 2 on the robot then expand the pelvis spine spine 1 neck the left clavicle left upper arm left forearm and finally we have the hand we want to add the hand position to this hand so what we're going to do is drag and drop. The reason why we want to do that is so this is a child of the hand and it's going to follow wherever the hand goes. With the hand position selected, make the position 0, 0, 0. Now we have the parent's position. drag it down so it's a little bit further than where the hand is. Okay. So we're going to be drawing a line from the follow object to the hand position object. So let's go play it, and I'm going to go pause. Now you can't see it, but there is an invisible line from that follow to this hand position right now. And it's checking if there's anything colliding with it. So let's go into our robot let's add the punch logic script to it go to the hand position drag it onto the hand slot and then the follow that way we have reference to these two game objects in code so we can draw that line Okay, so it's drawn that line, and it's going to be checking if anything's intersecting it, and if there is, we get the hit object to equal hit. So 
up here we have this hit object, which is a ray cast hit. And we make it equal to this hit information because we can't go down to this function and type in hit because it's out of scope. So we just um, define the hit object equal to hit and then we can transfer it over here and then use it. The direction is the hit point minus our follow game object. And if you minus a vector 3 by a vector 3, that gives you a direction. Then we make punch equal true. So now we have some hit information, whatever intersected line equals the hit, and then we have a direction for where we want our cube to be um, added force with. So when we go to the apply force function after everything is called with the animation event, we check if punch equals true, and it will if something's colliding, or not colliding, but intersecting the line. And then we go to the hit object, and we get the transform, the rigid body, and we add force at position function. And this function, all it needs is a vector 3 and a position. It needs a position so it can add some torque to our force. And torque is just basically angular velocity. So add force of position is going to get the hit point. So say I go over to the left side of the cube and hit it on that point. It's going to get some angular velocity spinning in the clockwise motion. Gets that point and then gets the direction that we need to be hitting the cube at. Multiplies it by strength so we have some control and makes punch equals false. So let's go punch this cube. There we go. As you can see, I'm about almost as tall as this guy. And when I punch this cube, I'm going to be a little bit over the center of mass. So it's going to make this cube rotate this way because of the angular velocity it gets. So I'm going to go to the cube, just add some mass, we're testing it, hit it again, there we go. This is the coolest part, I think, hitting this cube, but it's on the ground so we can't hit it because it's not working. Uh, okay, so we have our bot, he's all set up with animations, he's idling through, he's checking if we're pressing any buttons, we can run, and this last part sums everything up by punching a cube. So if you didn't get your scene working, you can always just copy and paste and go through and do those minor changes from those character logic and the punch logic. But if you want, you can just do assets, import package, and in the what you need 
directory, I included an end scene. So you can go in here, import it, and you can test out the scene for yourself if you're not if you can't get it working. But that uh, sums up our animation tutorial and I hope you enjoyed the punching part that was my favorite so, alright so hope you liked it and thanks for watching